Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and I represent Insignia Overseas, one of the leading IELTS and PTE institutes in Kurukshetra. And today we are going to look at the most important cue cards and their follow-ups which will continue to appear in the real IELTS speaking test till the month of January, at least mid-January and the remaining December. So I'm going to say the cue card and read out the follow-up questions. You can pause, you can uh, take a screenshot, make sure that you practice them because these are exam questions. So the first cue card is describe a time when you forgot or missed an appointment. I will say the cue card again and you can have, you can pay attention to your screen. Describe a time when you forgot or missed an appointment. The first follow up question, is it important to have a daily plan? What kind of things do people need to plan carefully? Is there anything that can't be planned? And the last question, do you think it is important to have a work life balance? So the cue card was describe a time you forgot or missed an appointment. Let's look at the second one. Describe a program you like to watch. What programs do people like to watch in your country? Do people in your country like to watch foreign TV programs? What is the benefit of letting kids watch animal videos than visiting the zoos? And the last question, do teachers play videos in class in your country? Let's look at the third one. Describe a time when someone gave you a positive advice on your work. This is appearing very frequently. So let's look at the follow-up questions. Is it essential to give children a positive feedback? What would happen if parents overly encourage their children? Third question. Do you think negative feedback is more important than positive feedback? These were the three follow-up questions for the cue card. Describe a time when someone gave you a positive advice on your work. Let's look at the next one. Describe a time when you were stuck in a traffic jam. Again, very, very frequently appearing in the exams. And let's look at the follow-ups. When do traffic jams usually happen? What are the causes of traffic jams? Do you think the traffic congestion will ease in future or will it worsen? Last question, what would you suggest as possible solutions to the problem of congested traffic? So these were the questions related to the cue card. Describe a time when you were stuck in a traffic jam. Let's move ahead. Describe a positive change that you made in your life. Let's look at the follow-ups. Is it easier for young people to change? Is it easy for older people to change? How can people change their daily routine if they want to? And the last question, what are the disadvantages when people keep making changes? The next one is describe a time when you argued with a friend. I say this cue card again. Describe a time when you argued with a friend. What do you do if you disagree with someone? How do we stop an argument from escalating into a fight? What disagreements do parents and children usually have? And the last one. Who do you think should teach children to respect their teachers? Let's go ahead a little bit. Describe a story or a novel you have read that you found interesting. The follow-ups. How does technology help people tell stories? Do you prefer to read ebooks or paper books? Why are mystery novels so popular nowadays? And what kind of stories do children like? These were the four follow-ups for the cue card. Describe a story or a novel you have read that you found interesting. Uh, the next cue card is describe a family member you want to work with in future. 
And the follow-ups are, what kind of family businesses are common in your country? The second follow-up, why do people want to do family businesses? And what are the benefits of working with family members? Is it easier to get promotions in big companies? And the last one, is it better to stay at one work or change frequently? Let's move on to another very, very frequently asked and a very common cue card. Describe a fashionable person. The first follow up. Do you think online shopping will replace in-store shopping in the future and why? I will say this question again. Do you think online shopping will replace in-store shopping in future and why? The next question. Why is fashion very important to some people? Are older people as fashionable as young people and why? And the last question, are women more fashionable than the men and why? Moving ahead, describe a friend you enjoyed talking with. The follow-ups are, where do young people like to meet? What do young people talk about when they meet up? Do you think people should be honest when talking with friends? And the last one, on what occasions do people talk with strangers? These were the questions for the cue card. Describe a friend you enjoy talking with. Let's move on to another one. Describe an outdoor activity you did in a new place recently. Ask from many of our students and uh, from, from the feedback of them, we come to know that this is very, very frequently appearing. Let's look at the uh, follow-up questions. What are outdoor activities popular in your country? Are those people who like dangerous activities more likely to be successful? Do you think people should change jobs when there are new opportunities or chances? Should young people try as many new activities as possible? And the last question, what are the differences between after class activities done by young and older children? I repeat the last question. What are the differences between after class activities done by young and older children? The next one is describe an invention that has positively changed the world. The first follow-up question, how has technology made our life easier? Which invention do you think is the most useful at home? Is it more difficult for older people to accept new technologies? What can be done to help older people learn to use new technologies? And the last one, will our life be better if we live without technology. These are the five follows for the cue card. Describe an invention that has positively changed the world. The last one in this category is describe an experience of online shopping. Let's look at the follow ups. What kind of service do you think is good? What are the differences between shopping online and in stores? What problems do customers often have while shopping online? And the last one, what do you think customers should do when there is a problem with a product they bought online? So these are the 13 cue cards, very, very frequently appearing. And if you happen to get any of these cue cards for the remaining December, as well as uh, till the mid of January, it is most certain that you would get the same follow-up except the whys which the examiner asks or the cross-questioning. Uh, my name is Vikas. I represent Insignia Overseas. It is one of the leading IELTS and PTE institutes in Kurukshetra. And we make sure that we make IELTS simple for you people. Keep watching and follow us for more information. Thank you so much. Have a brilliant day.